What up, people? So we're back in another video in Roblox, but this time we're playing Anime Crossover. Now, when I first started playing Anime Crossover, when it first released, I didn't really get into it, you know? And I decided to give it a second shot, you know? So this is the way I'm farming in it. I just want to show you my process. What's happening is I'm using Tiny Task. All I'm doing is literally clicking beside my character. I click here, and then what happens is I click on the buy menu right here. But you, you see how I'm on the road? All, literally, all I'm doing is clicking on retry. You're going to see the loop, though. I'm going to show you exactly the whole video. Click on retry. Click on the other screen over here so I don't disconnect from that game. Then I wait. Start it up the round. I click on Madara. Then I click here. It didn't place because it's on a road, but I always click right next to my foot or right like on my foot almost. And then what happens is you see how that happens? I click on the max thing, but I'm able to place down my unit. So if I spawn there, if I spawn anywhere, there's always two places I put. And this is only for one unit. You don't have to literally, uh, you don't have to have a crazy passive on your unit. You don't have to have the the best unit in the game literally you just probably could do this with any mythic what i use is bottom path madara and i only upgrade it to uh four out of five upgrades usually i don't click on that last one and yeah obviously you click on double speed i'll show you the whole process though either way but uh yeah this game is easy yo literally that's probably one of the biggest things about this game i feel like I don't know. Something's off about the vibe of this game. To be honest, I feel like it's just one of those filler games that we're going to be playing until the next game comes. You know, I gave this a try. I'm still going to give it a try. Maybe getting a good passive on Madara is going to increase uh, increase uh, how I feel about this game. You know, I don't know. But it seems like a big mid for me. I don't know. Some people acting like this game's really good. I'm happy that you enjoy it. You know, that's cool for you. But uh, yeah, I literally beat the whole story mission with uh, just Madara. Bottom path upgrade literally beats the whole thing. So you could probably AFK any world you want. You should AFK the one you're trying to uh, evolve the unit in, right? Whatever resource you need. If you go to uh, the upgrade thing. And you're going to upgrade your unit. It literally shows you what resource you need. And then you just hover over it. And it shows you what world you could get it in. So I guess you could basically AFK any world. With that method you know. The method I'm showing you. Alright. So since I killed him a little quicker than. Uh, yeah you see we're getting. Usually we're averaging around 175. Sometimes I've seen 250 shards. XP hovers around that point we're not really getting that much xp but that's i don't know if you get more from other levels or you get less from other levels but let's just stop and start the tiny task right now so this is what happens i'm going to start it boom it's going on replay and there's always different spawns so that's why i think this method has never has never uh broken you know i think i did it by accident though I would say that I purposely did it so that I'm putting Madara over the button, but it just happened. He didn't, I wasn't able to put him down. Like, as you can see, now I'm able to put him down. It's going to go right next to my feet, start the game. But yeah, it just, sometimes it works out, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, I just put him there all the time and then I go upgrade. So if I had to say one thing is make sure that when you're upgrading, you don't click on the too much to the left side of the button you want to stay kind of on the right side or in the middle of the button on the t but yeah it's easy game yo i don't know do i feel like the grind is i don't really get any like uh like incentive to grind i'm kind of just doing it to give it a chance but i think i'm going to drop this game to be honest unless you guys know a uh, strat to get some good stuff i find it slow for gems slow for mythics uh which is okay i mean but there's like i don't see no re-rolls 
I don't know. I don't feel like there's a way to really grind this game. The good thing about this level is if they pass me, which they don't usually do, there's a uh, another world uh, that I'm touching. Basically, it curves up. I'm gonna show you really quick. You're not supposed to move it. Just so, um, just so you know, you're not supposed to move the camera. But look, see, there's a road that he touches. So yeah, it's just literally don't have to move, don't have to do anything. Place the unit. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the game too. Uh, but yeah, I don't really see. Uh, yeah, I don't really see the point of grinding this game. I'm just going to do this one video. Let me know if you want more videos like this. And uh, see you in the next uh, video game. Also, there's a One Piece uh, drop that I got. There's like a Netflix One Piece game. I think it's like uh, Next World. Uh, Netflix Next World. And yeah, they basically dropped this uh, UGC, One Piece UGC. That was actually... A uh, little grind, you know? I think it was a three-hour grind to get that One Piece uh, artifact. Let me know if you want a video on that. I could drop you guys the link. I private the video, so I'll just put a link if anyone asks for it. Anyways, uh, yeah. That's about it, yeah. Mid-game. <laughs> Peace.